Meanwhile, for the Tigers today, same 11 that put four past Rotherham in a very convincing and benchmarking performance for the second half of the season. Ryan Allsop, the goalkeeper, Cyrus Christie, Alfie Jones, Jacob Greaves and Louis Coyle across the back. John Michael Serry and Tyler Morton with Jason Lakilo, Scott Twine, Jaden Philogene as the attacking midfielders, Liam Delap up top. On the bench for the Tigers this afternoon, Matt Ingram, Sean McLaughlin, the former Watford man, Ozan Tufan, Greg Doherty, Adama Traore, Harry Vaughan, Andy Smith, Regan Slater and Aaron Connolly. It will be a quick one taken. Philogene on the ball again to the corner of the penalty area left-hand side. Twine hits it back out towards Coyle, sets the cross into the area. Underneath it is Morton and it's a forced save by Ben Hamer, the Watford goalkeeper. Lakilo regathers on the right-hand side, delivers a cross into the penalty area, which is headed away. Razovic tries to get rid of it. Jones fancies it from a long way out. It's the back stanchion and goes wide of the target. But Hull City buoyed with confidence. Jacob Greaves snuffs out with his run with a slide tackle. Then one comes in in the midfield. No free kick given. Lewis into the area, dangerous chance because Kayembe is totally unmarked and will score. Ryan Andrews leads the celebrations and he's joined now by the goal scorer Edo Kayembe with his second goal of the season and the marking was very loose. It also has it back again, Jones on the right side of his penalty area. Hull City have tried to pass their way around the press and Christie spots the lap in a pocket. Now, can the Tigers use this momentum? Delap skips past his man like he wasn't there. Delap into the penalty area. Ball's going to pop nicely. It's an immediate response from Hull City. And Scott Twine has buried the ball into the bottom right-hand corner. You are your most vulnerable when you've scored, it would seem, for Watford. Their fans have only just sat back down from celebrating. But Hull City will escape from their box. And now they can set sights on the Watford penalty area as Delap has Watford stretched. Lakilo in field away from him. Delap has Philogene to his left. Again finding space to lap. Back heels it now to Philogene. Thinks about the shot, takes a touch and then shoots with Venom, which forces a save from Ben Hamer. And again they take a quick corner, and it's with Philogene to Lakilo, 20 yards out, fancies it, whiskers wide. It was curving away, but again, it's just quick thinking. Greaves goes wide towards Philogene, who hasn't really had too much room on that left side, but he spots Coyle advancing, it's into the area, Hamer comes out and punches, one hand gets on the ball, Hull City win it back high, Seri 20 yards out to Philogene, ball might pop to Seri again, he saw an opening but it was shut down by Watford, Philogene dancing away from his marker, will strike at goal, pulls it too much to the right hand side, but the Tigers give him the applause. Ken Semmer rides a couple of challenges. He's only got Rajevic for support. Semmer holding on to it, trying to draw in Jacob Greaves, who holds his position. Coyle is going to have to take over his run as Watford now move towards the final third. And Ishmael Kearney, 18 yards out. He's going to try and lift one towards goal. And Allsop spots it, dives to his left-hand side, pushes the ball away from that left-hand post. Can't connect with anyone in midfield for Watford in the middle. Hull City will have it back and Seri has spotted Philogene. Perfect first touch. He's into the area. Philogene! It took a deflection off Watford centre-half Wesley Hutt. That's great defending. You have to give the Dutchman all the credit there. As Hull City will have a corner in front of those Watford fans. There is five make it six in the penalty area. In the ball comes, looking for Greaves to flick at the front of the six-yard box. He's still got it, he's tripped, and it's a penalty! <laughs> Just like last season, Greaves wins the penalty at the same end against Watford. Here he goes, Jaden Philogene. Oh, it's saved by Ben Hamer. He tips it away to his right-hand side. It was a weak penalty in terms of pace. Ben Hamer stretched to his right-hand side. Hull City might get a chance as Twine 
has pushed the ball wide to Lakilo. Now he's in the area on the right hand side. It's Lakilo. Stands up the ball to Twine. Oh, Philippines got in the way. Knew nothing about it. But Hull City rebuilding. Delap, left of the penalty area. Moves in field. Strikes at goal into the pouch of Hamer. But two good chances. So interestingly, who's going to be making way for Hull City? There's no real big candidates in black and amber to come off. Morton, nice flick to find De Lapp, and he's running at the defence again. De Lapp into the box, good looking shot, oh, wide of the target. Liam De Lapp creates spaces that at first glance don't look like are going to materialise. Regan Slater infield, they immediately connect. Philogene 20 yards out, at pace, shoots at goal, he pulled it a bit too much. It goes right side of... Ben Hamer's goal, it's played back towards Ryan Andrews, who's trying to push forward whenever possible. Now Watford's goal scorer Kayembe, now through towards Jamal Lewis, Bayer sets up Jamal Lewis, big save from Ryan Orsop and he's diverted it with one hand. Hull City just need to settle because they're inviting Watford back into the game as Delap just tries to turn. And Wesley Hutt has gone for an ambitious effort, a long way out, it's gone in! Watford are 2-1 up! Wesley Hoot, from miles out, has put Watford back in front. A ridiculous goal from the centre-half. Ryan Alsop, well off his line, beaten. Hull City haven't lost a league game at home when they've occupied a place in the playoff places or higher since they lost to Derby in 2016. As Philogene has the ball 20 yards out, right side, he's going to take it on himself and he forces a save from Ben Hamer. Hull City have a shoot on site policy. Twine now right footed into the area. Again over the head this time of Alfie Jones. Tufan heads it back towards the box as appeals for handball. Shot piercing towards goal by Liam Delap, but goes over. And Hull City now not getting many shots on goal. Philogene back on the left-hand side, dances past Porteous, running at the penalty area. It's Philogene! Oh, he's hit the roof of the net rather than the back of it. 20 yards out, the shot had dip and it had pace. Ben Hamer wouldn't have had time to move, it flashed past him that quick.